Good morning. This morning's reflection is taken from Luke chapter 14, verses 1 to 6. One Sabbath, when Jesus went to eat in the house of a prominent Pharisee, he was being carefully watched. There, in front of him, was a man suffering from an abnormal swelling of his body. Jesus asked the Pharisees and experts in the law, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath or not? But they remained silent. So taking hold of the man, he healed him and sent him on his way. Then he asked them, if one of you has a child or an ox that falls into a well on the Sabbath day, Will you not immediately pull it out? And they had nothing to say. <clears throat> My th first thoughts on reading these verses was, whatever happened to the Sabbath? I remember Sundays as being days of rest. No football, no supermarkets, family days together visiting grandparents, church and Sunday school. Well, before we answer that question, let's take a quick look at the idea of Sabbath and how it's listed in the Hebrew Scriptures. There are two main words used in the rest of the Bible. The first is Shabbat, which gets partially translated into the English word Sabbath. This word for rest simply means to stop working. Think of an hourly job where you clock off at the end of the day. The work is done, there's no more until you clock back on. The other main Hebrew word for rest used in the Hebrew scriptures is nuach. This means to dwell or to settle. This isn't the same as clocking out from an hourly job. The type of rest is like sitting in front of the fire with a loved one or going on holidays. It's essentially about restfully being present. In terms of creation, after six days of bringing order to chaos, now it was time for God to Shabbat from work. A few verses later, we read that God creates humans and then immediately rests them or settles them with himself in the Garden of Eden, Nuach. It seems like the idea of Shabbat and Nuach are meant to work together. God leads us by example as he rests from work, Shabbat, and then dwells together, Nuach, with his people. Throughout the Old Testament, people turn to worshipping false gods, ignoring his grand designs for them, and they rebel in just about every possible way. They shun the idea of Shabbat. But God rests, or nuachs, his presence with them throughout, through the tabernacle and the temple. By Jesus' time, it seems that God's people had become weary and burdened by the heavy weight of observing Sabbath. The people were in need of rest, both in seek, ceasing from hard work, Shabbat, and being present together with God, Nuach. Jesus hoped to redefine the meaning of Sabbath for them and provide them with the experience of being in the presence of God. Jesus ushered in the promise and reality of Shabbat and Nuach. 
Jesus reminded the people of God's actual intent for Sabbath, unity with God and each other, that was first found in Eden on page one of the Bible. Jesus taught that the Sabbath was about mercy and was purposeful. It was supposed to point to him, the one promised through all of Israel's prophets, the one who would restore the rhythm of creation. When followers of Jesus observe the Sabbath, they live as if this restoration has already taken place. So we need to take a break from the broken time of hustle and hardship to set time aside for submission to this rule and enjoyment of his presence and extend these things to the world around us. When we observe Sabbath well, we become little resting places of God's presence. So today, what does this look like? Does it mean attending a weekend church service, or turning off work emails, or volunteering at a soup kitchen? Does it matter what day of the week you observe Sabbath? Your Sabbath should certainly include some of these activities. But it could take place on, the same, on any day of the week. As followers of Jesus, we aren't required to follow the laws given to Israel by God exactly. These were given at a specific time and to a specific group of people for a specific purpose. Yet the wisdom of those laws is enduring. It's not a commandment we're bound to, it's a promise we're invited to. Sabbath rest is an invitation we need to practice in our lives. It's where we can regularly engage in God's rule and allow him to reign in our hearts. We have to Shabbat in order to Nuach, to stop working and truly rest in God's presence. When we do this, we make room for him to take up residence in our individual lives. When we do this together, we are making space for him in our communities. Even better, we are taking part in this new creation story, setting the stage for God to make his dwelling place, his resting place, right here with us now. Amen.